And that concludes our council reports. Now for our mayor's report. Um, when we started this meeting tonight, I had a sense of pride looking out into the audience. The high school students were here, the ROTC was here, uh, the rabbi from Temple Beth David, and I couldn't help but thinking, look at what a diverse group of people we have brought together, and that diversity represents our community. We live in a diverse society now, and I did make an issue about the nominations that were put up tonight uh, because two of them were African American. And on our boards and on our council, we don't have minority representation, and our boards and our council don't reflect our society. To date, I have put up six, Af six nominations who have been African Americans, and to date, this council has voted against all six of them. Uh, these are people who are politically neutral and who are well qualified for the positions I've put them up for. And there's no reason that each one of these people should have been denied. And that's why I made an issue about those two positions tonight. Uh, moving on to more positive things. The South Gwinnett High School had their homecoming parade a couple weeks ago, and I had the opportunity to ride in the parade and, and throw out some uh, football and, and helmet beads, and this is me with the homecoming court. Uh, so I want to thank the high school for allowing me to be a part of their celebration and, and uh, Councilman Sabog for, for helping me uh, throw out those beads. Um, we also... You know, the next one, I think at the last council meeting we told you that... Um, Harry the Hawk and, and the Hawks basketball team was able to come to South Gwinnett High School and, and the kids from Britt Elementary who are just so excited to cross the street to come to the high school to begin with uh, were so happy to be part of the celebration and, and wanted to thank uh, the high school also for having us and, and the uh, students that were recognized had 85 uh, grade point averages or higher uh, so I want to encourage all of them to keep up the hard work. The next one. Uh, the Sunday before last, I had the opportunity to attend church at Snellville First Baptist, and Governor Sonny Perdue was there and gave an inspirational speech um, about regardless of what you believe in, we need to all as Americans stand up for our beliefs. Uh, so many men and women have fought for this country, but it's becoming easier and easier for us uh, to waver on our beliefs. And he reminded us of the importance of standing up what, uh, for what we believe in. So I want to thank Governor Perdue. He had some kind things to say about the city of Snellville, uh, some kind things about the lack of traffic on Highway 78, and I appreciate uh, his remarks at Snellville First Baptist. And I'm um, pleased to announce that tomorrow, on behalf of the city of Snellville, I'll be having lunch with our new governor, Governor Deal, at the governor's mansion for the first time. So I look forward to reporting back to you about the news to share from the governor's mansion. Um, we also had the Mayor's Cup, and uh, I'm happy to say it was a little hard for me being a Brookwood alumni, but South Gwinnett won the Mayor's Cup for the first time in three years, and I'll be presenting that at a formal pep rally in the weeks to come, but there is Principal Thigpen with uh, Richard and the Mayor's Cup. Uh, Finally, in this Veterans Day, I, I was out of town, didn't have an opportunity to take in the celebrations yesterday, uh, but the week before that, I did have the opportunity to present Justin Lansford with the keys to the city. And for those of you that didn't have an opportunity to meet Justin when he was here, he truly is a remarkable young gentleman. And uh, he reminds us what so many people have sacrificed for. Uh, so I'd like to thank all of our veterans, wherever they are, uh, for the service that they've given to our community, uh, because without them, I wouldn't be sitting here and this mayor and the rest of the council would not be sitting here uh, so there's some pictures from the mayor's cup uh, would, and uh, the Justin Lansford homecoming also would like to congratulate the Brookwood High School girls cross-country team they are now the state champions and um, want to thank the mayor and council for their support they came out today in support of Park, uh, Parkwood Ho uh, Farms and also they hosted the Summit Chase Town Hall meeting last week. We had great uh, community outpouring for the Summit Chase Dam. I want to thank Mayor Pro Tem Witz for chairing that meeting uh, and for everyone taking in the public comment. And finally, Thursday, I will be principal for a day at Norton Elementary School. So wish me luck. I am terrified about having the elementary school kids. I don't know what they will be like for a whole day, um, but hopefully it won't be much worse than being uh, sitting up here and being mayor. Um, with that, I will close the mayor's reports and open it up to public comment. If the Boy Scout troop, I know y'all have been troopers for sticking in all night. If you want to come and have your picture made up on the bench afterwards, you're welcome to. Uh, but I will open it up to mayor's comments.